Hey everybody, it's Christina of Crafty Paws. I'm here to share a Mother's Day card that I've made for my mother-in-law who is French-American by way of Spain. Uh, she considers herself American, of course, but she really has this French essence to her. So when I saw this adorable Parisian kitty from the Hunky Dory for the Love of Stamps, cute kitties uh, stamp set, I knew I had to make a card for her for Mother's Day using her. So I'm starting just with a scrap of paper. Sorry, my camera's kind of blurring in and out. Um, just a scrap of cardstock, and I'm blending on some Tim Holtz Distress Oxide inks and squeezed lemonade and picked raspberry. And I'm just doing a little background sheet, so I'm not taking too much care other than I wanted a soft blend. And I'm going back and forth, uh, just blending it on with my blending tool. I'm going back in in that area where the two colors meet back in with the lemonade color And so I think that that's kind of giving a soft transition And I'm doing that for the little card front window and here I'm sprinkling on some Heidi swap uh, clear color shine for a little shimmer and sparkle on that background and that takes up the ink just like water would any kind of liquid does that so I'm dabbing off the water with my tissue and I'm just positioning that uh, with the card front that I prepared off screen. Uh, then I decided I'm gonna cut down that card front and I'm inking on some more of that picked raspberry all along the edges of the card base. And that's so I get an exact match in terms of color all around the edge of the card. And See, that card front I made by uh, running my cardstock through an embossing folder. It's a We Are Memory Keepers Next Level Dotted, and that's positioning all the little various pieces together. That card front, I made that window uh, just using a circle die after embossing that card uh, cardstock to create kind of a bubbly uh, textured card front without distracting from the main focal image. I wanted it to be white, uh, but I wanted a little bit of texture, so it had a little bit of interest. And I'm just backing it with some double-sided foam adhesive that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. It's pretty thin. I want to be able to mail this easily without adding additional postage, just sending it through a regular mail. And using these kind of thin, uh, fun, uh, fun foam kind of, adhesive gives it a little bit of dimension and interest without adding too much bulk and that's the card assembly now I'm using this adorable Parisian kitty and I'm stamping it out uh, on using my misty tool because it's a brand new stamp and I wanted to make sure I got a clean crisp image so you see me stamping it out twice there and using that misty tool really helps now I'm gonna do a quick Copic coloring I decided to make the kitty just kind of a pale gray, so I'm using my warm Copic markers, and I'm just trying to put in where I think the shadowed areas would be, on the underside of the tail, at the base of the feet, where the front legs and paws uh, would cast a shadow on her belly, where there might be a little cast shadow behind the glasses, underneath the little beret, uh, where the muzzle lines are, all those areas will get a little bit of gray. And I move on to a lighter warm gray just to blend out to the white areas of the kitty. Uh, and like I said, this is a pretty small image and it's pretty detailed, so I'm just doing some really quick and easy blending just to give it a little bit of dimension, uh, but I'm not worried about adding flicking too much for texture and that sort of thing. And I decide I'm gonna cover up all of the white of the card stock um, that I'm using to color on. So I don't want any kind of white there on the kitty. I want it to be a, that warm zero. And I realized I forgot to color in the front paws, so I'm just using a, the W1 and the W0 for the front paws. And also behind the glasses, because I figured the glasses would be a little bit lighter. I decide the beret and the little neckerchief uh, are gonna be colored up in yellow. And the Y11 is a little pale, pale yellow, and the Y02 is a canary yellow, so I'm just using the Y02 as a little bit of the shadowed areas. For the glasses, I want her to have hot pink glasses, so I'm using an RV04 and then adding a little bit darker shade at the 
nose bridge area and on the lower parts of the glasses just to get a, a little bit of dimension. I didn't want it to be flat. Then I decided she could have rose colored glasses. So I colored in the glass area with a R20. And then I realized I forgot to color up the nose. So I used a W7, leaving a little white highlight area. For her stripey shirt, I'm going to give her a pink and gray stripe shirt and I'm using an N. It's a neutral gray for the alternating stripes and then on the edges I'm going to put in a slightly darker neutral gray uh, just so that again the kitty has some dimension to it. It looks a little rounded. The front middle area is a little bit lighter. On the edges it's a little bit darker where there might be cast shadows from the front legs, I make it a little bit darker. Uh, the inset area, again, I make it a little bit darker. So I'm using just a little bit of blending to give it a little bit of added dimension. I'm going back in with the N5 again because using the N3 has kind of washed out the darker ink. And I wanna make sure that having that contrast really helps give it a 3D kind of look and coloring. Now. For the alternating stripes, I'm gonna use the same colors that I used in her hot pink glasses. So again, I'm using the lighter tones in the middle and then I'm gonna use the slightly darker tones along the edges. So the RV4 in the middle, RV6, 06 in the edges, and that again helps give a 3D look to the image. And again, this is super easy Copic coloring blending. It's not super complicated. I'm not taking, you know, the usual three color tones and trying to do textured flicking. I fussy cut the whole kitty out and you can see the areas where the whiskers are, I just kind of cut around the whole bunch of them. But I wanted the edges of the kitty to not have that white edge of the paper showing. So I'm using a Memento Tuxedo Black marker and just inking the edges. For the sentiment, I'm using the I Love Mom stamp set from The Greeting Farm, and I'm just gonna use the sentiment there uh, on some black cardstock, and I'm gonna heat emboss it with some Ranger Super Fine embossing powder. So first I prep the cardstock with uh, my EK powder tool, and then I'm gonna ink the uh, sentiment with Versamark ink, that's an embossing sticky ink, and I use the embossing powder tool just to prep the cardstock so I don't get a lot of adhesion of the embossing powder to the areas without the sentiment ink. And I really like using the super fine Ranger embossing powder because that seems to get into all the little nooks and crannies uh, without uh, making it too blurry, even for small text like this. Um, now I'm going to heat the front and the back of this cardstock so that it doesn't warp too much and you can see it melts the embossing powder pretty quickly there. Uh, I'm wiping off the excess powder and then I'm just gonna use my uh, Creative Memories guillotine cutter. I love this. This is probably one of my oldest crafting tools but it stays sharp and it's super convenient. Uh, I wish other companies would make that but I, I'm pretty sure that's long since retired. I think the company is gone. Um, anyway, that's my sentiment. I'm just gluing that right into place. And I've put double-sided foam dots onto the back of this little kitty. Uh, it's just so that she has even more dimension than the you know card front uh, bubble frame. <laughs> and then I also stamped out off camera a little sentiment that says mercy. Uh, it was an extra I think that I got from Lawn Fawn ages ago and I just cut it out freehand cut it out into like a little speech bubble that says merci like meow but in French <laughs> and uh, I just wanted to tack down the little kitty's tail it was too thin to put foam adhesive behind it and uh, that's it that's my completed card uh, I think I also skipped off camera adding some glossy accents to the glasses just for a little bit of shine but that's my Mother's Day card for my mother-in-law I hope you've enjoyed this process video if you did please give it a thumbs up Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a wonderful crafty day.